Hi, class. Can you hear me? Yes, teacher. Good. Yes. All right. Hi, Nuri. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Nice to see you. Good to see you, Nuri. Welcome. Thank you. Hello, Oscar. Hello, Luis. Larry. Everyone's here? Well, no. No, we still have some people. Hey, good evening, teacher. Good evening, Mr. Luis. How was your day today? It's a lot of traffic, huh? Yeah, the traffic jam. The traffic is horrible in this moment. Let me see, we're waiting for more people. So are you are you watching the news on the war with Russia and the Ukraine? Yes. I didn't. <laughs> From what I understand, this maybe is United States fault, correct? Maybe not. It's it's kind of uh difficult to say that because no no it, it is but remember so much, so United much States interest. created United States created Laotan to be involved and um what I what I don't understand is like I remember if you like one week ago from one week back remember the United States was very angry like okay Russia we're ready we don't want, if you go to war, we're ready to attack. And it's sad because nobody, nobody is supporting Ukraine in this moment. Mm, maybe, maybe it's, it's, it's uh, as I told you before, it's very hard to say, but it is. Uh, you, Ukraine is not part of the OTAN. And one of the, uh, one of the reasons that Putin is uh, uh, over Ukraine is because uh, Ukraine tried to be part of, uh, of the OTAN mm -hmm. and he said okay if you are going to be part of the OTAN I will attack you but uh, I don't know it's very hard to say because Ukraine has a lot of potential it's um, economical potential it has a, a lot of economic potential and I saw a, a tweet uh, from one of my uh, friends and it said that he, Ukraine is uh, always third or fourth uh, uh, nation in, in the world that brought uh, a lot of things. Uh, uh, oil. Uh, um, I I I I don't remember how to say trigo. Uh, I, yes, wheat. I have a oh. friend. She is from Hungary, Hungary, mm -hmm. and she lived in Ukraine for some years. And I was I was chatting with her today, and I asked her, and she said, "The problem is that Ukraine, when they became independent." they had a, a, a good precedent or they thought they thought they had a good precedent you know with okay yeah. now everything's going to be different everything's going to be different <laughs> but as time passed this precedent was a, a puppet he would listen to the other like maybe like to the united states maybe she didn't say the united states yeah but 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 she said like after this president became a little corrupt the, the government and um they started i don't know but it's bad i, I hope this finishes it's too yeah. bad because always innocent people die yeah always always yes and yeah and i and i really hope it finishes because imagine if one country helps ukraine oh man the world the, the war is gonna start 
I don't know, but is it raining in your house? By my house, it's raining. Hey. No. Right here, it's um, cloudy, but there's no rain. I live by El Paso del Jaguar. In La Vista Hermosa, and um, it's raining. So maybe it's going to rain later on. Maybe because it's very hot. In La Urdes, it's not raining. It's not raining yet? No. Okay. All right, so let's start. So yesterday, I believe we were doing... Um, Something you enjoy with an auxiliary, with the uh, infinitive and a gerund. Let's continue this. Let me open. Okay, let me open the platform and it's opening in this moment. Let me share with you. So do you remember yesterday, what is I mind and I don't mind? Do you remember? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes. It's, it's, yes. A, it's, it's a polite way of asking. Yes. Right. It's a polite way of asking. It bothers me. Yes. <clears throat> so we saw the video yesterday. Let's do the knowledge check. So it says instructions, read the dialogues and complete the sentences. If two are possible, write both of them. Separate, separate both answers using, remember, I'm sorry, using slasher. Remember to use either gerund or infinitive for both if possible. So number one, uh, follow the example. Periods are already placed for you. Number one. Ada, Sam isn't happy when he has nothing to do. Gary, I don't know. It really bothers him. Sam can't stand. Wait, hold on. You know what? Let, let's do. Let me go back because I don't. I don't think we did. We can't stand. Hold on. Object, object, object. Whoa, stop. There's things going crazy. Hold on. I enjoy meeting unusual people. I dislike spending a lot of time. So once again, we use a gerund. Always follows these verbs. When I enjoy, I dislike, I don't mind, and I avoid. Do you know what is avoid? Yes. Can you give me an example of avoid, please? I avoid uh, drinking coffee 
late. Really? Mm. Why? <laughs> because I can't sleep. All right, very good. I avoid drinking coffee late. Very good. Can you tell me something you avoid, Larry? Oh, let me think about it. Uh, I'm trying to avoid to go to, to the movie because uh, I, uh, I I sleep. Uh, I got oh, maybe I I sleep in in, in theater. Okay, so I avoid going to the movies. Going to, uh, okay. <laughs> you, you sleep on the theater, okay, good. Yeah. <laughs> I avoid going out with my friends. <clears throat> I avoid going out with my friends <clears throat> because my friends, they still like to drink. And um, I mean, I drink, I drink a beer too, but I think it's very stupid because if I go out with my friends, minimum I spend is $50. Yeah. Because you have to buy the beer, you have to buy the, the food, <laughs> you have to call the, the the Uber. So no, I just, I avoid it. So with you are, that- You are with, a, social, a social drinking. I don't think I am a social drinker anymore. I, I don't think I drink anymore. Oh yeah? I think, I think, I think I, I don't like to, I like to, drink, I like, I like beer. I like one or two beers, but I don't like to get drunk anymore. So I don't, I, well, I don't need to drink. <laughs> so that's good. That's good. Yeah, because when, when my wife was pregnant with my son, she was in um, high risk. It was a high, high, high risk pregnancy. Yeah. So do you know the expression cold turkey? Cold turkey. Cold no. turkey. Cold turkey. I heard about but I forgot. It's... Cold turkey is like when you stop oh, when you it. when you stop something, right? When you stop yeah. something. Something bad. So oh. like like imagine, imagine you have a friend and your friend is a drug addict. And if he's a drug addict, he is also an alcoholic. You know how it's progressive? So your friend decided to change. So he went cold turkey. That means like when you go to the supermarket and you get a turkey and it's cold. So he knew, so mm -hmm. not like nothing. That is it's a famous expression in English. It's cold turkey. The same same as quit something. Yes. So for example, when my wife was pregnant and um, it was a very high risk, I really went cold turkey. I stopped everything and I was by her side every day. Because you know, in the emergency, I had to be there to take her to the hospital. So after yeah. nine months. When my baby was born, I remember um, I bought beer and tequila, right? And I remember I only drank two beers and they were so nasty, like, Rah! so that helped me <laughs> and I went to sleep. So after that, after I went cold turkey, I stopped, which is good because I have friends that they can't stop. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's happened. It happens, yes. So that, that's the expression. Hey, man, he went cold turkey. Wow. Wow, that's good, man. Cold turkey. Cold turkey is, mira, en vez de tomarte diez, tomarte dos. No, cold turkey is like nothing. Drastically, a drastic change, which is good. So I, 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 I avoid going out with my friends and I, I try, I avoid traffic. But that's very difficult to avoid because traffic is everywhere. Right. Yes, it is. Yes, okay, so class, look. So I enjoy, affirmative and negative is I don't enjoy. 
I dislike or I like. Mm -hmm. I like drinking coffee. I like reading books. I don't mind and I mind. What is something you don't mind? Like, do you mind people smoking around you? Oh, I hate it. Yeah, me too. Some people don't smoke, okay? And they don't mind. No, I don't smoke, but you, you can smoke. It's okay. It's no problem. For yes. me, it's a problem because I don't smoke and I don't like people smoking mm -hmm. around me. So I do mind. All right. So next we have, so remember, after these, you use um, gerunds, verbs with ing. Yes? Yes. Verbs with ing. So now let's, let's do infinitives. Infinitives is when you put the verb to and then the verb. For example, an, an infinitive or a gerund can follow these verbs. I like going or oh, I like to go to parties. Both are correct. I love watching, I love to watch movies alone. Me, I love to watch movies alone. Mm -hmm. I can't watch movies with my wife. because my wife thinks that the Godfather is boring. <laughs> Godfather. Have you seen the movie, The Godfather? Yeah. Me too, teacher. Yeah. What? <laughs> yes. Sorry, good evening. That's I'm not sorry, a, I'm late. That's one of the best movies in history. I don't like it. <gasps> it's boring. No, I agree oh with my your wife. God, oh my God, oh my God. No, no, I, I, I take movies very seriously. I love, I love the art of movies. So in this case, I like to watch movies alone. Like when Tarantino takes out a new movie, I have to watch it alone. <laughs> because my wife, my wife likes like, for example, anything on Netflix, like Specials like on Christmas or oh mi primera cita or, or things like that. <laughs> so I like watching movies alone. Uh, we have here I hate waiting and I hate to wait. What is something you hate? I hate the slow people. Okay, can you give me an example? But especially I, at traffic. Okay, all right. You have you have to deal with the traffic. Yes. <laughs> yeah. What? But listen, the expression "I hate." I hate because I know the word "hate" is odio. Y en español se decimos yo odio. Es más como me cae mal. No es tan fuerte mm -hmm. in English. Mm -hmm. I hate. Mm -hmm. In Spanish, yo odio is very difficult. Yes. But in English, when you say I hate, it's not really offensive. Like, oh man. Like, for example, me, uh, I think we were speaking this yesterday with, I think it was with Oscar or, or Larry that I hate shopping with my wife. Mm -hmm. You know, shoe shopping. Oh my oh, God. Really? Huh? Yeah, I, I, yeah, I, I really hate that. <laughs> what is something you hate? What is something you hate, Miguel? What can I say? Um, I hate to, I don't know, maybe uh, I hate to shopping with my wife, shoes and clothes. I hate shopping with my wife for, clo <clears throat> for uh, clothes. Okay, good. Uh, me, for example, I hate um, um, waiting uh, in the line for, for a bank or for a bank line. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's very, 
it, it could be annoying or, or could boring. Be... Yes, the, the desperate. Yeah. To you wait know what for... I hate? I hate waiting uh, in the line in the bank, mm -hmm. and then you see you see like five very old people come in, and you yeah. say, "Ah, oh, man." <laughs> <laughs> it's like. Oh. No, I mean, I understand, but oh, man. Yeah. It's like, oh, really? So you have, you have to wait, huh? They you have to wait. They, they go first, yeah. right? Yes. And, but the problem is then they start asking questions, you know. Pero mire, y este, oh, my God. Yeah, the, pro the problem is that you have a lot of empty, empty um, the cashiers. The Cashier? No, yeah. in the bank, they're not cashiers. They're, they're called tellers. Tellers, right? So the um, empty tellers, they are only two or three at the same time taking taking the clients. Yes. So sure. I, I don't know why. What is the the other um? So the, the tellers. Yeah, where, I don't know what where, they where do. are they, right? It's true. I don't know what they do. <laughs> yeah. All right. Let me see. Francisco, you have issues with the audio. It's reading here. Done. Last phone okay. before. I'm sorry, I just saw your, your chat right now. Where do you live, Francisco? Uh, nearby. <laughs> oh, so it was raining, right? Uh, yes. Oh, okay. But maybe you have like a different uh, um, kind of house. <laughs> like roof and that's why uh here i can hear the sound uh, oh okay loud okay but it, it only rained like for five minutes so oh i could is that is that yes, your house i was stuff? trying to connect my uh my is, is that the sound of your house it's raining oh no oh okay no, oh no no i'm sorry i oh yeah Shh. Wow. Uh, <laughs> All right. So next Not we have. Myself. I don't mind. Wait. Next we have. I love watching. I love to watch. I hate. So, nadie me ha preguntado, pero generalmente alguien me pregunta. So, what is the difference then? I love watching and I love to watch. What is the difference? Uh, it could be I love watching is an action that you are doing on at this time and to watch is a preference no because you can say you can say I like going to the park with my son on the weekends okay I like going I like watching movies with my son every night yes I understand why because because it's ing you think it's in yes. this moment mm -hmm. Okay, but no, no, but thank you. It's, it's a good good idea, but not really. Okay. Do you know what is the difference? The difference is formal and informal. Oh, okay. The difference is formal and informal. Formal, of course, is I like to go. I like to watch. I like to sing. I like to dance. Informal is, I like going, I like watching, I like singing, and I like dancing. So we can use both? Both. Now, both. yes. But if you ask me, what is the difference? One is formal, one is informal. Okay. But informal is more popular. Okay. More people, it's more common to say, man, I love I love eating pupusas. Then I love to eat pupusas. So it's it's more common the informal way. Yes. But the, but the other the other is uh, more polite. No, not really. No more polite. More formal. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, it would just be formal. People take the easy way. To communicate. Yes, well, I mean English really now. Fast. Yes, English nowadays is more popular to speak 
the informal English. Right. O sea, hay gente que no saben que Ghana is going to. <laughs> right. Nativos, Ghana. What's the difference between I'm gonna go and I'm going to go? I don't know. <laughs> yes, there's a big difference. I'm going to go is formal. I'm gonna go is informal. So again, really? Oh man, I didn't know that. Yes. <laughs> but <laughs> no, really, believe it or not, some people, native speakers, they they ask that. They don't know that. Yeah, right. like are we are we made uh, our our contractions in Spanish, right? Our, our language. Yes. We do we do the same as as then with the English, right? Yes, it's like we do like with um with um a ver. Vamos a ver. You know, this a ver is to see or a ver this is there, but we don't know how to use it. These contractions uh uh, um, a few years ago, I I heard that there they use it all only on on the uh, popular on uh, neighborhoods. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, it's it's uh, like a liche. Oh okay. Okay. So let's see, let's see the, the last part of the video. I avoid talking on the phone. Remember we did this video and yesterday, right? Karen can follow movies yes, alone. Yes. To stay home. For. Imagine, don't mind. Oh, wait. Are finish, give up. For. I'm sorry, look at the last one. Oh, man. Oh, Remember the gerunds are very form object of a prep. I'm sorry, look at this one. I can't stand. I can't stand losing you. I can't, I can't, can't stand losing you. I can't. The police. Um, do you notice I can't stand? Yeah, like it's something like support. Like, no, it's support is very different in Spanish and in English. Right, like uh, when you uh, you uh, you cannot you you try to avoid. Um, yeah, I can't stand. It's really something you don't like. You don't have patience, and you want right. out. It's like me. I can't stand reggaeton. I can't. Right. And yes. what about uh, the other song, Stand By Me? Uh-huh. Uh, when it says, uh, Stand By Me, um, how, do you, how do you translate that? Oh, no, no, no. But in this case, he is being literally stand mm -hmm. by me. Okay. He's using the verb stand as the verb. Okay. But this is can't stand. I'm, th they go together. Can't stand. Can't stand. I think it's like what Alex says. No soporto. <laughs> it's a phrasal verb. It's a phrasal verb, yes. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I can't stand. Yes. Um, is, sometimes. Is it, yes. Uh, I'm sorry. So it's the same way when like someone is, is uh, smoking right by your side, right? And I can't stand this guy smoking yes. by, my, by my side. Mm -hmm. The only difference is when you say I can't stand is you do yes. something about it. It's like, or either you stand up and you walk away or, or you tell them, hey, I can't stand the smoke, please go. Yes. Um, that is I can't stand. What is something else I can't stand? For example, for me, I can't stand working with slow people. I don't like, it oh, yeah. bothers me, yeah. Yeah, it's true. It's, it's hard. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's a good example, yeah. yeah. Me too, maybe I can't stand working with slow people. 
Oh, you know what is something I can't stand? When I am eating in my house, in my table, and people are on the cell phone. Yeah. I can't stand but that. The, it's, it's a bad habit, I think. It's a very bad habit. Or, or when you have visitors and they're just like, but I, okay. Children are children, but come on, an adult. <laughs> A yes, grown it's, it's, person, a married, a father, a mother, and they're like, <laughs> no. Yeah, nowadays mm -hmm. it's common, this, this action. Yes. For example, when you go to a, to a party in a restaurant, or no, a dinner maybe, you can see all the people uh, with his or uh, her phone in the, in the hand. Yes. They are not talking to each other. So yeah, that, that's, that's I think that is very. I don't know. For me, it's very it's sad. It's sad. It is it's because the, we lost the communication, the, the real true. communication. But okay, in this case, yeah, I understand you because I feel the same. If maybe if I am not married and I, and I am dating a girl, and when we're dating and I see the girl, she's on her phone. Yeah. I can't stand that. Immediately, I stop right there. And I say, look, I'm sorry. Will you continue to use your phone the rest of the date? Uh, I can't, uh, okay. Then I have to go because inside you're wasting my time. <laughs> if your time is more valuable on the phone, okay, then you're not for me. I am not for you. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay, good. I can't stand. Hay otra, hay otra que se llama I can't help. Let me give you an example. Let me give you an example. Oh man, I know sugar is bad. Sugar is bad. But I can't help eating semita with coffee. <laughs> what is that expression? I can't help. It's another I, phrasal I, verb, Larry. It's like I can't help. Mm -hmm. Yes. When you are you cannot um, leave something, maybe? When you can't stop, you can't stop. You can't stop, okay. Yes. That's for the example, Elvis. I can help eating pupusas, for example. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Yes, okay. Mm -hmm. no, okay. But imagine me. you're on a diet, and that's the problem. Hey, stop eating, I'm sorry, man. I can't help eating pupusas. For example, addicts, los adictos, they can't help their addiction. If they see drugs, if they see liquor, they, they, they need it, they need it, they can't help it. So um, that's the Elvis Presley song. Wise men say only fools rush in. Remember that song? But I can't help falling in love with you. I least I can't help falling in love with you. All right. So let's see. So what is the difference? I can't stand is no soporto. I can't help is no puedo evitar. There is another way to. Like Which one? When you, when you say, uh, for example, I can put up with uh, reggaeton. Put up. Yes, put up with. Oh, yeah, that's another phrase of word, put up with. Mm, I can't put up with that. Okay, good. Teacher. Yes. I have a question. Sure. <clears throat> I can't help is like uh, I can't avoid. Uh -huh. Es como usted lo está intentando y no lo puede evitar. O sea. It's like, like I told you, imagine a stupid example. Imagine you are in a diet and the doctor told, told you, Sonia, stop sugar, cold turkey, sugar. And you say, okay, doctor, I promise. And you go home and you see a big budding. <laughs> oh, no, I can't stand. Just a little bit, a little bit. I can't stand it. 
no lo puedo evitar porque yo soy de budín. Ok. Thank you. Uh -huh. It's like a little kid, a little kid in a toy store, and the mother tells, don't touch the toys because no te voy a andar comprando. Oh man, a little kid can't stand that temptation. <laughs> They will get the toys. Ay, ay. Now that I have a son, I always tell my mom, mom, I remember when I was little, you took me to the store, to a toy store, y me decías, no me estar pidiendo juguetes que no te voy a comprar. Why did you take me to a toy store? Because me pegaba, porque me ponía a llorar. Ooh, I want a toy, I want a toy. And she says, I told you, I can't, I'm not going to buy you toys. <laughs> so I said, mom, that, that's difficult to tell a kid. We're going to go to a toy store, but only see, don't touch. <laughs> That's impossible. <laughs> like he can't stand that. He can't help it. All right, so let's finish the video now. Decision. I'm interested in meeting unusual people. Remember the gerunds are verb forms ending in ing. Gerunds after verbs. Common verbs followed by gerunds are finish, give up, can help, Imagine, don't mind, keep, miss, and suggest. You understand all this, right? Finish. I finish studying. I finish eating. What is give up? To quit. To quit. For example, I used to smoke a lot. I used to smoke maybe one pack and a half a day. Yeah. A normal day. And Friday, Saturday nights, two packs in one night. And um, I gave up smoking simply from one day to the other, like no problem. Have you ever had a, a situation like that, that you gave something up? Um, Miguel, what did you give up when you got married? I, 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 get up, I, I give up to go out with my friends when, when I get married. So I gave up going out. Remember, Go, going out. remember the objective here is to use gerunds. Okay. All right. I gave up going out with my friends. Good. What about you, Luis Molina? What is something you gave up that it was difficult, but you gave up? Uh, what is the, the sentence, teacher? Can you give me an example you, you of something up. something you gave up? It was difficult, but you gave up. Uh, okay. Um, maybe when I started the English, I, I don't give, give up uh, uh, to understand one more time uh, the vocabulary with this. No. Do you language. understand what give up is? Give up is when you quit or you stop something. In fact, maybe you sacrifice something that was very difficult. Or maybe not. Listen to the examples. Miguel, he gave up going out with his friends. So that means Miguel used to like going out with his friends. He got married. He stopped. Mm -hmm. I have one For example. Me, I'm sorry? I have one example. Okay, go ahead, please. Yeah. Um, me, for example, I gave up uh, playing soccer most, um, you know, because I, I used to play uh, like twice a week or, or, okay. or, or three times a week. So I, I gave up uh, playing soccer when I, get, uh, when I got married. Oh, okay, good. Okay. Yeah. I, I gave up taking pictures when I got married. Not when I got married, when I became a father. <laughs> because um, it's when you are married and you're a father you don't have free time anymore <laughs> and, and to take pictures you need alone time you need you need time like I don't know sometimes maybe a tree like oh that's a nice tree or a bird 
But now, Papa, I need Papa. Like, wait, uh-huh. wait, wait, Papa. Oh man, I can't. So I, I gave up taking pictures. Photography. Uh-huh. I gave up photography. I still love it. What about you, Larry? Are you married? Yes. What did you give up when you got married? Something like the, like the, the I, I can't remember his thing. I give up to, I give up playing soccer and basketball on Sundays and and Saturdays too, and get fat. <laughs> get fat. <laughs> When I read the story about the Holocaust, I gave up going to church. Oh, yes. Yes. Why, Why the church? I, no, when I read the story about the Holocaust, I gave up religion. Religion? Simply, yes. Oh. Yeah, simply like that. I said, no, this is not possible. But remember, so when you say I give up, is something? it could be something very big or very little. Very little. Like for example, you know, you know, for me, what would be what is difficult when you're a vegetarian? If you become a vegetarian, you have to give up meat. Correct. Mm-hmm. That's that's my respects for people who become vegetarians because that's something very difficult to give up, especially in El Salvador because everything is meat. Yeah. Yes. And now you only, oh no, but it's better to be vegan, right? No, Ve- no, that's, that's yeah, terrible. Because, yes. terrible. <laughs> no, I mean, I, I respect that because, but I think it's very difficult because you have to give up meat and products that come from animals. <laughs> so so that's, that's crazy. You can't eat, eat eggs, milk, cheese, nothing. So I don't know what you can eat. Grass. <laughs> Grass. Yeah, it's, it's hard. Hard to believe that so, someone can change like that. Right? No, but you know, it's very yeah. hard in El Salvador because how many restaurants do you know that have vegan food? I know one. I know a couple of places oh, that yeah? they have. Yeah. But it's not like it's not like in San Francisco or Los Angeles. Like, hey, let's go. And there's a vegan in every corner. You know. Yeah. Right. So that's that's easier, but in El Salvador, you know, that culture is not big yet. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So there's only one or two or three places, but they're very difficult to find, you know. So it's very difficult to be a vegan in El Salvador. Yeah. Yeah. But I mean, look, there's a una cita barata, right? No. They only put you there. They only give you lettuce and... Yeah, because imagine you go with your girlfriend to Olavetos in the beach. Yeah, I want a cocktail and a big, big fish. And you? Um, Just lettuce, tomato, and carrots. French fries, please. <laughs> <laughs> no, man, that, that's, that's cruel. All right, so that's give up. Can't help is what I was telling you a while ago. Can't help is something is difficult. It's difficult. Usually people like that smoke and when they try to stop, it's difficult for them because they say, man, I can't help it. I can't help it. I need to smoke. I need to smoke. I know it's bad, but I need to smoke. Or like I said, um, I know sugar is bad, but I need, I need me Samita every afternoon with my coffee. Yeah, I can't help it. Or, you know, like when you have a terrible relationship and you have a bad girlfriend that she has another boyfriend behind your back and you say, I know that you have another man, but I can't help. I love you. Like, <laughs> no, oh man, God. you need help. You need help. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, we understand don't mind. Remember, don't mind. Yes. Next yeah. we have keep. Yep. Hold on. Google, turn off. Hey, Google, turn off. I'm sorry, my Google thing activated. <laughs> Did you hear that voice? Yes. Yeah. 
I think I showed you this in my last class. Watch. It's it's like it's like Alexa, but it's the Google version. Like, hey Google, okay. es en San Miguel, El Salvador. En San Miguel son las ocho cuarenta y siete de la noche del viernes. <laughs> hey Google, pon Andrea Bocelli en YouTube. It's kind of cool, watch. Okay, aquí tienes Andrea Bocelli en YouTube Music. It's cool. But they don't like it because sometimes it activates. <coughs> sometimes it activates and I get scared. Like, como ahorita se me activó. It recognized my voice. Teacher. Teacher. Sorry. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. I was telling you that this is like you can give it any command. Can you hear me? Yes. Yes, teacher. You know, like you say, hey, Google, pon Metallica on YouTube. And um... and it's bilingual, teacher. YouTube music. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's good, but sometimes it activates and it scares me. Listen to this, this is funny. Hey Google, cuéntame un chiste. Aquí va, ¿qué le dijo un techo a otro techo? Techo de menos. I like it because it's like, when I put my alarm, hey Google, despertame a las seis. Okay, a las seis, and you know, like, and then. And you can say it in English, teacher? Yeah. Yeah, English or Spanish. Ah. It's cool. It's very nice. It's like the Alexa. It's like the Alexa, but this is like yeah. screen. It's like. Mm. <clears throat> All right. So I'm sorry. It recognized me. I don't know. Yes, I can try it. Okay. I turned it off. <clears throat> okay. So I don't mind. We understand that. <clears throat> what is keep and a What is keep in a jarin? Going. Excuse me. Keep going. Keep going. Keep eating. Keep and the is continue doing that action. Yeah, when you're For running, example. when you're running, come on, come on, man. One more mile. One more kilometer. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. For example, for me, is keep trying to the gym. <laughs> yeah, keep trying to go to the gym. All right. Yeah, keep trying. Uh huh. Um, yeah, keep, keep in the journey, it means continue doing that action. Like, uh, keep on loving you. I'm gonna keep on loving you. I like classic rock. <clears throat> I think, I think, lastimosamente, maybe Russia is going to keep on attacking Ukraine. But it's not going to stop. I don't think they're going to negotiate something. I hope they do because really innocent people die and that's not fair. Yeah. Do you think, do you think Mauricio Funes will keep on living in, in Nicaragua? He has to. He has to. <laughs> he better. Oh no. He has no option. Yeah. <laughs> he has to. He has to keep on living there. <clears throat> okay. Now, next we have Miss. What is Miss? Let me when give you an you example. Something when you miss something. Yes, but when, when you, you use when you lose, I, when you lose something. No, when you I miss, miss I miss running. Okay, I miss every running. Day, there, you know, every or day. Miss around. No, miss, miss, and um, and a verb and a gerund is something that you don't do anymore, and you miss it. 
It's like, for example, I am a very happy married man. I love my wife. I love my family. I love my son. But I remember when I was single, I remember I used to buy, remember the DVDs? Yes. Que estaban de moda en yes. todo el centro. I remember on the weekend, I used to buy maybe 10 movies and watch for me, for me, that was my perfect vacation, you know, watch movies all day. Don't take a shower until 5 p.m. <laughs> Don't cook and, you know, order food. I miss that sometimes because that will never happen again. Yeah, or like the old cartoons, you don't miss. Um... I, I miss, miss watching, it, for example, the watching the cartoons. Right, the weather better than actually, I think. Yes. <laughs> um, we miss our mother's food, <laughs> eating our mother's food. Yeah. All right. What is something you miss, Esther? Okay, what is something Hello, you teacher. miss? Hi, Esther. Hi, teacher. Can, can you tell I us something miss... you miss? I'm sorry, Esther, yeah. are you married? Yes, teacher. Can you tell me something you miss about being single? Um, no, teacher. <laughs> no, but I remember, it doesn't have to be something bad. It's not necessarily uh, bad. It's like people say, oh, man, I miss not worrying about anything. <laughs> <laughs> Remember when you live with your mother and father? Yes. Your, your, only, your only responsibility was to have good grades. It's different. <laughs> yeah, your, that was your only responsibility. I, I see my parents every day. Oh, okay. When I, yes, when oh. I uh, arrive my my work. To your work? Mm -hmm. uh, do, you, do you work with your parents? No, uh, I see my parents when I arrive to my work. Cuando vengo de trabajar. Or when I come from work. Come from work. Okay, okay. what is something you miss when you were a child? I, I miss my, my I sister. Need I need a gerund, I need a gerund. No es que me hace falta a mí. I need a gerund, I miss going to school. I miss buying mango twists. I miss, I miss going I miss to, minutas. I need a verb with a gerund. I need a verb with a gerund. I miss going to school. I miss seeing I my miss, friends. I miss Choco banano, como. Ok. Wow. Esther, necesito un verbo con ING. Es el objetivo ahorita. Estamos haciendo okay. gerundios. Con, con I miss. Okay. Está correcto decir I miss choco banano. O sea, me hace falta choco banano. Pero estamos usando uh, miss con gerund. Eating. Exactly. Uh -huh. I miss eating choco bananos. Ok. Repeat, please. I miss eating choco bananos. Ok, good. All right, cool. All right, what about you? What is something you miss as a kid, Louis? Sorry, uh, teacher, repeat. I'm sorry, class, can you hear me? Yes, teacher. Yes. yes. Okay. What is something you miss, Luis, when you were a maybe, kid? Uh, maybe I, I miss playing trompo. There you go. Okay, good. Uh -huh. Yeah, I remember because that, I don't think that tradition's never going to come back, the trompos. Yeah, now they very difficult, that, that game. Or oh, remember, I miss, I miss being with my friends in La Quina in, in, in the street. Yeah. Just right. talking. And, ah, you don't see that anymore. Or I miss playing soccer in the street. Sometimes uh, I miss staying on the corner in my community. Yes, <laughs> I, it's I true. Really, 
It's true. I, you know, as you say, I miss. Okay, next we have suggest. Suggest is similar in Spanish, right? Suggestion. Um, Oscar Osvaldo, what music do you like? Mm, I like all kind of music, but for example, I like uh, romantic music, but the eighties or nineties, something like that. Um, I like, uh, I don't know how to say rancheras. <laughs> yeah, rancheras. Okay, so if you if you like if you like romantic music from the eighties, I suggest you listening to Air Supply. Air Supply. Yes, they are good. Yeah, but did you listen to my example? I suggest listening Something. to Air Supply. To Air Supply. Uh huh. But suggest listening. Remember, suggest in the gerund. <laughs> Nuri, what's your favorite food? My favorite food is uh, Chinese food. Oh, really? I suggest going to Palios Chinos. It's good. Okay. Where do you live? I live in Lourdes, Colón. Oh, yeah. Okay. When you have the time, I suggest going to Palios Chinos. It's by La Chulona. It's very good. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> because they are Chinos, Chinos. And they have that special flavor. Yes. <laughs> what movies do you like, Alex? What genre? Um, action. Action movies. Like, yeah. You know, I I like uh, the old action movies. The classic actions, like Die classic. Hard. Yeah, classic action. Like Die Hard? Yeah. Dura Matar? Yeah. Yeah. Um, if you if you don't like that movie, you are not welcome in my house. <laughs> right. <laughs> All right. That, okay. I suggest you... Um, ¿Cómo se llama este canal? There's a channel that you can download on, on your phone. It only shows classic, classic movies from the 80s. From the 80s. Sonia. Hi, teacher. Hi. Where do you live? In Metapan. In Metapan. Oh, yeah, you live in Metapan with Mirna. Yes. Have you ever seen Mirna? Um, sometimes. No, but I have remember, you seen her? Have you seen her in person? Yes, in the gym. Oh, okay. Yes. So listen, I don't know Metapan, but I want to go and visit Metapan. Is there a nice restaurant in Metapan? Yes, and I suggest, suggest going to Los Remos restaurant. Exactly, very good. I suggest going to Los Remos. Aún existen los remos. Yes. Pero aquí el dueño es alemán o algo así. Um, no. 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 He's, no. He's no. here. Oh. Presently, he died. He died a few yes. days ago. Oh, really? Yes. But there was, yeah, there was a restaurant. There was a restaurant in Metapan. I remember that. I, the owner was German. I don't know. Because Los Remos, the person is Metapaneco. Oh, okay. Yes. I did went to Metapan. Hmm? Did you visit the El Pelon? No, the thing is, I used to teach English in Metapan, but maybe like 20 years ago. Oh, yeah. And I used to teach in Cesar. In that time, it was Cesar. Oh, it's Holzing, right? Yes. Oh, really? I, I, can, I, I can remember you. Really? You you were there? Yeah. yeah, I was there. I only remember one person, <clears throat> el nombre me acuerdo, el ingeniero Ángel something. Oh. Ángel. Ángel. The name is very hard. Yeah, I mean, it was 20 years ago, but I remember we used to live inside. There's a neighborhood. 
Había una yeah. colonia, right? Colonia El Ronco. Yeah, there. But in that time, it was very ugly because the street, the road, it was dust, polvo. But now yeah. they tell me that it's cement, right? Yes. You work, you worked in, in CESA or you work there yes. now? Uh, no, uh, I've worked in CESA for 17 years. And uh, my last year was 2009. Oh, okay. Man, but I don't know if you remember when the Academia Europea iba a dar clases. Yes, yes. Okay, I went there. I was there. Uh, I... And, and the classes are um, a few words in, in, in Los Domos. Yeah, I don't, I, don't, I don't really remember. But I remember Do I used to go with all the ingenieros. The, the build, don't you remember the buildings? Uh, uh, that's... Um, Uh, like uh, there was a swimming houses. Pool. Yes, yes, I remember that. That's it why was... it, it. That's why it was called the domus. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, I remember con los ingenieros íbamos a un bar de un alemán man. It was very good, and I we went to los remos. Because in that time, I don't know now, but in that time, Metapan was very boring very boring because at 7.30 at night, everything was closed. Yes. Everything was dark. You know, so it was like, oh my God, ¿qué hacemos? Like everything was dark. <laughs> Is it still like that now? Oh, listen, I remember, I remember there was a beautiful, beautiful mansion. It was not a house. <laughs> But it was, well, from, from Santa Ana to Metapan, maybe in, in, in the middle. Uh, Texas. But it was a big, it was the only one. It was the only mansion. Yeah. It was, yes, in, in, in Texas. Texas the Peque. Does that mansion still exist? Yes. Pero, man, eso parecía castillo. Like, yes. había una historia de que era un señor que se fue a Estados Unidos y que la compró porque... Eh, la, era el, el empleado de los suegros o algo así I don't know hoy hice muchas versiones de esa casa pero es beautiful yeah. existe peque oh, eh, Metapan was nice el cartel no in that, in that time there, no cartels nothing existed era más sano <laughs> <laughs> but I remember el vacilo it was to go to Santa Ana But yes, you didn't yes. know that. You didn't know that because there's always cartels. Oh, oh yeah, they yeah. have always existed. Yeah, always. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, but it was cool. It was nice. Um, yeah. So very good. I suggest going to Los Remos. I I liked I liked your example. I suggest going to. So after all this verbs class, you put a gerund. Okay. Yes. Okay. Imagine you say, oh man, I'm very tired. Why? Because today I finished working at seven. Why? But you, you work until five. Yes, you'll say, pero me quedé because you know, like, uh, you know, that's an example. I finished working at seven. All right. Mm -hmm. I finished studying at three in the morning. I, you know, etc 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 okay class thank you very much i hope you have a great weekend okay i will see you on monday thank you okay. thank, thank you teacher. thank you teacher all right bye bye everybody bye 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 b